Hey guys, and welcome to another brand new video. In this video, we actually have some pretty interesting news to go and cover over here because we actually are seeing a massive, huge marketing kick coming out over here when it comes to PlayStation. Or if you guys have seen it, there's actually some huge, huge God of War axes showing up in actual real life. We're now seeing news reports. We're seeing everything in between. So I'm going to show you guys all this stuff and talk about some pretty big marketing news as well. We also have some very, very kind of also bad marketing news too when it comes to one of the most beloved conventions where it kind of seems like E3 is in the news again where it's pretty much uh dead and yeah it's not doesn't seem like it's doing too good so we're gonna talk about this talk about the story talk about the news talk about everything else in between so you guys will stay tuned stay tight and as well we also do have maybe some pretty big rumors of an upcoming game that also may have been leaked to as well we'll make a little bit more in depth on that in a separate video maybe tomorrow spend the lookout for that one but i do want to highlight that throughout this one so Make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. We have the Twitter and Twitch room down below in case you guys would like to go and follow. We also have the How link, which we only have like a little bit left in that promotion. Amazon links, Target links, and everything else in between. And let's go and dive into this video. So very first and foremost, in case you guys have missed some kind of big news and kind of, in my honest opinion, kind of cool stuff. Number one, we are now seeing the literal God of War himself in real life where these photos are looking Pretty, pretty dope. So if you guys have missed this, there's like a brand new marketing campaign all going around over here from the hashtag live from PS5, where we're now seeing this brand up on TV, on television, everything in between now being pumped out and churned out. Basically, for this one, they have a live replica of the God of War Leviathan Axe that's actually now been implanted over here in London. So basically, Kratos is fiercely smashing Triangle in Midgard right now, and this is like quite literally a real-life thing that's ongoing. You guys can kind of see this over here where they have the live from PS5 van, and they also have this all, look at this, like, Beautiful cityscape up here up in the background with the axe and everything all in between. Very, very cool to go and see that some artists came over here with all the nice little live from PS5 vibe. And I gotta be honest, this thing is looking pretty, pretty big, bigger than expected. And I think it's just maybe the random man inside me is that I want to go and try to pick it up by the handle, even though it looks like it's about the size of a car, because I just want to go and see if I literally could. Now, obviously, if you try to touch that, please don't. If you guys go and see this up in per uh, person, you'll probably get yelled at or fined or whatever. But, man, look at how cool this looks. Like, this is a very cool job. And like I said, they're trying to do a nice little cool marketing promotion going on over here. So, if any of you guys are in London, which I kind of doubt a lot of my audience is American, but there is some UK boys and European homies here. If you're considering seeing it in person, experts speculate the axe will be gone by Tuesday evening. And please don't attempt to lift the axe. Kratos will be angry. But look at how cool this looks like over here in general. But this kind of goes and bounces off into a separate thing where if you guys saw the earlier articles, there is a brand new now live from the PS5 uh, promotion that's going on over here, which I may actually go and have, like, probably have like a proper video on this in the channel itself, but basically they're doing like this kind of like little mock news review type thing where they're actually showcasing up all the new upcoming things into a, well, pretty cool YouTube video. So I'm going to go and see this over here. Words, guys, we're breaking news for the PlayStation 5. This is live from <laughs> PS5. Let's go now to our first story. The good people... Well, you guys, okay, I don't really have to skip it every two seconds. I hate whenever YouTubers do this, but basically they're just kind of showing up some cool stuff like PlayStation, etc. But one big thing to note is there might have been actually been some kind of cool Uncharted stuff. So if you guys kind of keep your eyes as I'm rolling, I'll try them in a little bit less, but you guys can go and see me to look out for that. But Spider-Man 2, coming in fall of 2023. As he delivered a gang of criminals on something of a webbed platter. Man, which by the way, looks dope. In San Francisco. The alloy rediscovering ancient lands. In over 2,000 years. Who was it from the head of I thought this one was the one of the coolest ones. I love that. That was so cool. I'm unsure whether to call a doctor. Weapon turns man God. into a shrub. <laughs> <laughs> and you see all the games. These are all coming games or big games or whatever. An increase in activity on PS5. Story's coming a little fast. The ship crash lands on the just there's so many games. It's so hype. Let's go right now. This was live from PS5, bringing you the extraordinary. Which, if you guys kind of go and see that as we're looking through the promotion, there's just a lot of really cool games they highlighted and showcased up over here to want to go push for this upcoming year. Like, if you guys, I mean, I could probably do this in a separate video, so I might more allocate time towards this before, but there's so much cool stuff. Like, I think this is like a Returnal. You guys can see this one. Little highlights. I think I saw, like, a Destiny over here, too. If you guys see the shrub, you know, from Ratchet and Clank. I think there was a, a Destiny little ghost. I'm not sure if I can try to refine that over here. Uh, but, like, you have Stray. You have all this other cool stuff tied in. And, like, I just like 
this type of marketing. It kind of has like a little bit of a personality and a push. Like you have these real life events. And like I think it's kind of nifty and cool at the end of the day. Now, would I rather go and see like a big state of play or like a really big event and conference? I mean, in all honesty, yeah. I mean, a little bit, yeah. But I have a chance to go and see some upcoming games and dates and everything else. Like I'll be honest, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of down with that. So if you guys are curious, you guys can go check out the video. I may go just properly just pure re-upload on my channel itself. Sometimes I try to do it on the channel if you guys ever noticed those, if you guys are subscribed, just because I think it's interesting or it's cool or like maybe, you know, we might bring it up in a topic of conversation. But basically, this was in regard to the video we made earlier on today with the live from PS5 and also consoles being available. But it just kind of goes to show that there's a lot of good games coming out over here. And I still thought that God of War one was pretty, pretty cool. But yeah, we've been seeing all this type of stuff over here. There also was some leaked Spider-Man commercials too that were down in Australia, which was pretty much in ties with the live from PS5. And they also pretty much once again solidified that we'll most likely be having a fall 2023 release date for Spider-Man 2 with all the other various games coming out. So very cool to see this. And I think the marketing genius is coming in pretty strong and there's a lot more games coming out soon. So I'll maybe do a little bit more of an in-depth dive later on. But as well, if you guys kind of miss on terms of marketing, uh, this is a big taste of not marketing, where if you guys missed it, uh, E3 is going down the drain. So as of right now, there's a huge article floating around that Xbox, Nintendo, and Sony all will not be a part of E3 2023. If you guys don't know for whatever reason, because it has been a few years, E3 is one of the biggest gaming events or at least used to be, and then at some point all these bigger gaming companies realized that they could just go and either have their own production team or just go and just do a general YouTube, Twitch live stream, which is not really that hard, and you can do it on their own schedule and not have to be like fine-tuned for E3. We've also been seeing the Summer Games Fest from Jeff Knightley also taking over quite a bit of realms for announcements. So it almost kind of seems like E3 at this point kind of lost its golden hype, doesn't really have as much TV or general media uh, appearances, and at the same time, they've also canceled the last few, so it kind of seems like it's just really hard to get their rockets returning. And now for me, I kind of feel like with Xbox, Nintendo, and Sony all not being a part of E3, I have almost no reason to want to watch it, because that's the big reason why everyone used to watch them in the first place. Maybe like a small, casual PC like showcase or something, but at the end of the day, nothing very good. So it was the E3's first physical event in four years was supposed to be a triumphant return for the trade show. An opportunity to recapture some of the excitement of past conventions, which has historically been nice, but it does seem like the E3 2023 that will hopefully be happening in June, if it's not canceled again, uh, seems now from multiple sources, at least from regards to IGN, that Xbox, Sony, and Nintendo will not be a part of E3 2023. We even have a presence on the LA Convention Center show floor. The information comes from the heels of Xbox announcements last week that it would be a return to LA for its annual summer showcase, but declined on where it's coming. So basically, as I mentioned, I think a lot of these bigger game companies that they're trying to do these big marketing presses they don't really need something like an E3 or like traditional TV anymore because they also realize if you just upload a really good YouTube trailer, you might get 10 million views. Or if you go do like a really big state of play, Microsoft conference, Nintendo Direct, you don't really need to go and kind of adhere to an E3 or a different press event. And as well, it might even be more of a hindrance because it has to be in person. You have to have physical staff there, you have to have timing there, you have to make sure it all hits on the specific deadline that you yourself don't even set, and if you don't, then you're wasting a lot of money. Like, in theory, if you're Nintendo, why not just pre-record it, you have a few extra weeks to sit on it, and make sure all the trailers are good and, like, kind of fine-tune it quite a bit, and doing live showcases or live events. And a lot of E3s also were also live, which led to, like, weird crowd interactions or other various things, too. It also kind of seems that like they're also not going to be having a presence even on the show floor itself, where it does seem like all of these big companies are like, yeah. We don't need E3, we can just do it on Twitch, we can do it on YouTube instead, and we're fine with that. So as this information came out from all the stuff, we're seeing these comments, even Phil Spencer said the platform holder is timing its showcase with E3 at a moment, convenient for press and even consumers at the event, meaning it's likely to be roughly aligning with the event itself. And also Spencer also stressed that Xbox's public support for E3, which is nice, but if they really publicly supported it, they would work with them or show, like have a showcase on the show floor or whatever. E3 to me is just one of those seasonal moments of gaming. I love the history of going down to LA, thousands of people there, getting to see the great new things, getting to see people in the industry, the fan events that we've had, and definitely want that to continue, Spencer said. Xbox is on board of the ESA, and I think a successful and healthy ESA is critical to what we're trying to do, so we place our showcase like we've always done at a time where it's hopefully is convenient for press and even consumers that are going to E3 event, and it's what we're trying to go do now. So it kind of seems like they're just more so trying to make sure it's not like overlapping 
I guess, but it doesn't really seem too much over there. So it looks like uh, they're all pretty much going away. We've had all these comments. E3 is pretty much going and gone, and we're just not happy with it. E3's definitely been sad about this. You can tell they're going to miss the buzz. They're going to miss the brand new consoles, the events, and like it's it just I feel bad. Like I used to also like E3 myself, but it just doesn't seem like these past three years they can get back in their stride. And I'd be kind of curious on the longevity of E3 in the first place, because if no one wants to go and all these big names are not going, that also kind of drives the convention aspect down a decent bit too as well. So we'll kind of see if E3 can also survive. So give me your thoughts and comments down below. We have the how links down below. We have the Twitter and Twitch stream down below. We have the target links down below. And of course, make sure you guys are subscribed with the notifications on. And I appreciate you guys also much for watching in the first place.